you can find common denominators to compare fractions, but that might not be the most practical or most efficient way to do so. In fact, there are quite a few different ways to compare fractions that don't require any calculations at all. These strategies are rooted in understanding of fractions and some good old-fashioned thinking. Let's talk about comparing fractions using benchmark relationships. Consider 3 fifths and 2 sevenths. Which of these two fractions is greater? Well, you can think about how these two fractions relate to 1 half. 3 fifths is greater than 1 half. 2 sevenths, on the other hand, is less than 1 half. Knowing that one fraction is more than a half and that the other is a little less than a half helps us compare fractions. You might be thinking, well, that's great, but I can find a common denominator for these fractions easily. But what if the fractions were, hmm, 12 23rds and 7 17 The common denominator for these two fractions isn't easy to find. But 12 is more than half of 23, meaning that 12 23rds is more than one half, and 7 17 is, well, less than a half. And so that's a great way to compare those fractions. And speaking of common denominators, did you know that we can actually use common numerators to compare fractions? You might have learned that you can't do that, but you can use common numerators to compare. Think about 7 ninths and 7 twelfths. With these two fractions, we have the same number of parts, 7. All we have to do is think about the size of those parts. Ninths are going to be larger than twelfths. So, since we have the same number of pieces, 7, we can simply think about which piece is larger. In other words, 7 pieces that are larger is greater than 7 pieces that are smaller. You can make sense of this through a unit fraction. Think about 1 fourth and 1 eighth. They both have the same number of pieces, but fourths are much larger and, well, that's easy to compare. Thinking about the missing size or the size of a missing piece is another way to compare fractions. We'll talk about that another time.